all of you welcome back once again in this video we'll try to understand that what is the current scenario of the market and how you can keep yourself updated there is no doubt you are giving your 100 percent learning the technology learning about smart contract front end back end building a tab but keeping yourself updated is one of the most fundamentals for your career if you really want to scale yourself if you really want to keep yourself updated you have to know that what is going on in your industry then you can able to prepare yourself learning a technology is one thing you can see a lot of tools are coming every single day based on the same framework so how you can relate yourself with those tools with those products with those startup and how you can apply and how you can find that this is one of the most important things which you have to do every single day so stop watching reels for entertainment try to spend some time and try to understand that what exactly happening so i'm going to share a couple of resources which i personally use for myself to understand the regulation which coming up in the industry which country is putting what type of regulation to understand the financial condition of the market that what regulation governments are bringing whether it's come to us market whether it's come to india market you have to understand that on base of that, you can upskill yourself to find out a better company or better opportunity for investment for product development. That's how you can able to build your skills and your understanding about the market. So the one website which I personally follow every single day is Coindex. It is a really powerful website which help you to give you the latest information about the crypto industry, about all the companies getting like latest funding, about the technology, about the regulation in the crypto market and what are the policies are coming into the picture. So this is absolutely amazing. I would encourage you that come here at least spend 10 to 20 minutes every single day. 10 minutes in a, enough. All you have to do is to simply check the headlines that what exactly it is. Here they have talked about the Bitcoin and the dollar. So you have to just read the headline. I'm not telling you to read the entire story that what it is. You have to read the headline and try to understand that what is exactly happening. US election, they have talked about the Bitcoin reserve. They want to regulate that in the market so they can stable their financial system. So you have to know that what are the policies are taking place in the US market and what are the policies are taken in different country and how this regulation are taking a huge role. And on the base of this regulation, you will find a lot of company will come into the market. They're going to bring some sort of protocol. They're going to bring some sort of consensus layer. They're going to bring some sort of security measure. So you will find a lot of project will come. Right now, you will see a lot of policies have been passed in the past couple of years where they're trying to implement this entire decentralized financial system into the market. So it is very important to you. I would encourage you to come back here and read all of these stats. This will give you a very good understanding. So this is what I do personally when I want to do any research, want to find about the company, about the industry investment or about the project so this is very important you have to do this analysis learning technology is really very important but a part of that you have to know that what is going on and that way you can able to keep yourself updated and most of you neglect this part you guys say that i'm learning the technology and applying for the job and internship but i'm not getting any responses because you are not keeping yourself relevant like learning a technology is one thing but when you're going to sit for the interview or when you're going to apply for an internship, you have to know the condition of the market. And based on that, you have to prepare your resume. You have to prepare your entire project. Then you're going to relate your resume, your portfolio with the company requirement. So these are the things you have to keep in mind. You can't send the same resume to 100 company without focusing their need, that what they exactly want. So you have to focus on their need, check out their requirement, you will find their entire portfolio. So if you go back to their website, there you will find the details about the requirement, that what are the requirements they want. You can go to LinkedIn, there you will find the company page, go back to the career section, there you will find all the details. So you have to put this effort and you have to do the proper analysis. If you are a complete beginner, I would encourage you that first to focus on your skill without focusing on a job and internship. Focus on your skill because that's the most important thing and that's what you're going to sell in the marketplace. If you don't have a skill, no matter how many good research you do, ultimately you're going to work for the company. There you will have a task to complete. If you don't know your skill, then ultimately you will be get fired if you don't know your work. So try to understand the market that what is the requirement? What is the demand? And based on that, you have to prepare yourselves. So before you come to this stage, you have to prepare on your skill. If you're an absolute beginner, I would encourage you to learn about Salty JavaScript. This is very important. Build at least five projects which is very crucial to give you the basic fundamentals about the blockchain and how you can execute different dApp system. So I always encourage you to build NFT marketplace, Uniswap clone, build decentralized application or voting dApp, some sort of chat communication, liquidity. So these are the projects you have to include. Then it will increase your understanding because all the fundings, all the projects which you will find in the decentralized financial system 
it's revolve around this model it's used some sort of different addition on top of that but it has the basic root and this is the root they utilize it to build on top of that they are not inventing something new they're using the same technology but they're making it better and that's how the technology get evolved that's how we make the technology better so that's how you have to prepare yourself try to focus around your industry that what is happening try to communicate and find similar type of people try to get more information about it join discord server try to find out the protocol hackathon you will find a lot of good information about it it's not about getting job and internship ultimately you will get it if you have the good skill company will approach you if you really are valuable and you are bringing something on the table they're going to take you but you have to increase your understanding you have to increase your skill the better skill you will have the better job and opportunity you can able to grab it because right now it's very easy to get the mediocre developer but if you really want to work in the industry you need to be really higher on higher than mediocre because right now most of the jobs basic work can be done with the help of ai so why anybody would hire you so these are the things you have to keep in mind and you have to spend on times in these places you have to go and read about it all these headlines that what exactly happening what are the bugs we have in the Bitcoin? So you can see the protocol Peter Toll wants to fix Satoshi so Bitcoin bug. So you have to know what is this, what they are talking about. So when you will have an interview where you can mention these kind of things and which you can relate because it's all about the smart contract execution. You can simply highlight this kind of problem in the smart contract, which we execute on the Ethereum blockchain or any other blockchain, EVM compatible chain. So that's how you can make yourself aware, which is really very, very important. Read some need about your crypto space, no matter what technology you are learning. Try to find out the relevancy. If you are absolute beginner, I would encourage you to focus on your skills. Try to learn the technology which is relevant at the moment in the industry and you have a maximum number of projects. So don't try to learn something out of the box which has less utility in the market and you think that it's going to be very big in the future and you will start learning right now. That's not how you have to focus and take the approach. First, you have to learn the basic requirement which is getting utilized in the industry automatically you will develop on top of that if you have the command over one basic skills you can easily able to transition to any other technology any other framework any other programming language so that's how you learn that's how you build on top of that so i hope now you got an idea that how you have to prepare yourself because preparing yourself is very important rather than focusing on the technology you will learn automatically but these are the basics component of your development of your career which will take you to the higher portion where you are at the moment so i hope you guys have understood and you're going to spend at least 10 minutes read the headlines that what is happening if you find some article interesting read about it there is a lot of bug bounty platform we have you can go and you can simply read about that bug that what kind of bug they have in the contract and how you can see at the contract how you can understand so these are things very important so you have to spend some time on that so i hope you guys have understood that what exactly you have to do and how you can simply keep yourself updated about the industry and all the changes that are happening in the industry so with that i'm ending this video if you have any question any doubt do let me in the comment section i'll definitely try to help you in that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.